Okay. So for an even function, that means we're talking about something that has y axis symmetry. It also means this. It also means that f of negative x is equal to f of x. That's what you have for an even function. Because think about what we said about y-axis symmetry a second ago. For y-axis symmetry, if I replace x with negative x, they should be the same, right? So when you do that in a function setting, <coughs> you have y-axis symmetry, and that means you have an even function. It's what we call an even function. And an easy way to think about this is think about functions that have an even degree. A great example of this would be what we just looked at, x squared plus 7. If I replace x with a negative x, when I square it, what does it become? Positive. It still stays the positive x squared, right? So this guy is even. What you're going to see is that if all your terms have an even degree, this has an even degree, 7 has a degree of 0, so it's still an even degree. It's an even function. It has y-axis symmetry. There are things that don't have an even degree that are still even. The absolute value of x minus 5 is that v shape shifted down 5. It still exhibits y-axis symmetry, right? So those are examples of even functions. And let me tell you about an odd function. A lot of students think that an odd function means you have what type of symmetry? You think it would have x-axis symmetry. But as we think about that, if you are symmetric about the x-axis, if you're flipped over the x-axis, and your mirror image is down there as well, that means that you wouldn't be a function, right? Think about that. Can you think of a function that's like above and below at the same time? It's got to fill the vertical line test. So when we talk about odd functions, we're talking about those that have origin symmetry. And what that means is that f of negative x equals negative f of x. If you did, if you plugged in negative x and then you just did the opposite, you did the negative of the function, those expressions should be the same. And let me give you a classic example. x to the third has origin symmetry. We've talked about this guy before, right? If I, fl if I rotate him 180 degrees, doesn't he have the same shape? Yeah. Another good example is this guy. And we will be seeing him later. 1 over x. These are some great examples of of odd functions, things that have origin symmetry. If I look at this guy right here, he's that guy, origin symmetry. This other guy, has a graph that looks like that. If you were to rotate that 180, yeah. The reciprocal function is what we're going to be talking about a little bit later.